So we have a wild high desert day. We've got kids in the car. There's Miss Winnie. Chloe is still with us. And then you can't see him, but Bandon is our last puppy of these three litters to go to their home. So we are driving to town. It's just easy or always want to stop right here and just appreciate this is where we live. Basically everything you can see is the property we live on. Kind of like, you know, the land at our fingertips. It's pretty stinking amazing. But just stopping for a sec, try to introduce today. We're going to bring you along with us as we have kind of a wild but also not far from normal <laughs> day at High Desert Family Doodles. So come to town with us. needs a new windshield just dropped it off and we're gonna go for a little walk around downtown Madras <laughs> Progesterone back from the vet, and she is only at a 0.4, which means that she's not really showing any signs of um, an LH spike yet, which is not a bad thing. She's only maybe what day was it? Day six or seven, and so we could see it by now, but because we haven't, um, I'm hoping that means she'll wait till after the weekend we're supposed to be gone, <laughs> and it'd be really nice if she waited for us to come back. So a little less to coordinate but she has good um care for the weekend and we're excited to um see her start to go into heat and just to try to figure out if she's ready or not um, as part of our program like uh i think i've mentioned she is not a first time mama she's had two litters already came from a different program but um this would be her first high desert litter so we're excited and hope that it will work out. Um, but yeah, lots of shuffling today and there's a few more things we still have to do. Well, two hours later, Winnie and I are still walking home. <laughs> it's a little farther than I thought. Well, not really. We put around and ate lunch and walked on the way, so it was fun. We got to know our little local town a little more and um, we found out that she's not as close as we thought, which is actually really helpful. And the kids got to watch a movie and have lunch with grandma, which is way better than dragging them across town on foot. Um, yeah, little buddy met his family this morning. So our last puppy is gone. Uh, all we have left really, we did have 
a puppy stay, but because Chloe went to her family and then came back for us to hang out with her for the month. She's a family dog, so really everyone left in terms of <laughs> going to their owners. She just came back to us. So we are puppyless in our house for a little bit as UFC's puppies live next door, basically. And um, that's exciting because we get to see them just as often, but um, we're gonna do a good like revamp of our house and reassessment of some things with our protocol and our program. Um, do a little more training because if you're not always trying to be better, then you're losing an opportunity, <laughs> I guess. And so, yeah, that's what our next season's gonna look like till Christmas. We have some fun things surprised with uh, Yossi puppies. So we can't wait to share that. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for coming along with us today. And hope you enjoyed a day in the life. Very busy day, not really a normal day, but a day in the life of High Desert Family Doodle families. <laughs>